This conference will now be recorded. So in the first introduction class, I mentioned data science is very important and uh, it is giving a lot of insights to companies. And uh, based on the decisions, we can uh, take the uh, I mean, uh, corrective actions. These are the things we used to discuss. And uh, what are the content we are going to be covered, like statistics, computer science, like Python. And with the help of some business knowledge, we are going to cover. That was uh, we discussed. Now, yeah. do you have any uh, concern of why data is giving that much valuable information to company? Generic technology. Forget about data science. Generic okay. technology. Yeah. I'm assuming you have zero knowledge in data science. No, I have zero knowledge. <laughs> okay, let me take my name is Amar. Okay, I'm a center person here. Okay. Hope you can see my screen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm a center person. Nothing but one customer. Take an example. He's a customer. Okay. Now, assume that Amar is active in you know, all the social medias like Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. You name it any any social media, he's active. And he's giving some comments. He's posting some uh, pictures wherever he goes. Okay. Okay. That is a, now assume that uh, my company is doing survey as a third party and giving some information to different clients and distributing some uh, customer valuable information to different clients. Okay. And based on, based on that, they uh, the third party company got the data about Amar from LinkedIn, social media, and other social medias, different social medias. Now based on that uh, pictures, assume uh, Amar is a uh, active and every week he he is a traveler okay that means every week he is going one of the other location okay like a tourist. so he is a tourist okay he okay. prefer to travel a lot now wherever he goes he takes a snap and he's uh, updating into facebook or somewhere or okay. to get the likes or anything now from the picture can i get some information so every week he's updating Okay. So last week updated and last week pictures updated and this week picture up updated. Like this last one year data, the third party company received it and they analyzed and they understand Amar every week is traveling to different locations and all the locations are very close to nature. Okay. So don't you think that I can share Amar's details to tourist company and they can recommend the best package for every week? Yeah, they can do that. And based on its basic data analytics, forget about data science, analytics, they understand. So for Amar Water, he traveled in the last one and a half year. He traveled only in the South India or one part of the country. So can I, I can recommend other part of the country? Yes. That means Amar information based on analysis, I can travel to tourism, right? Yeah. Yeah. From the same data, I understand always the, the pictures, whatever he's sending, he's a single person. That means he's not mingled with anyone. So can I send his profile to matrimony so that they can propose uh, some profiles to Amar for marriage? Yeah, maybe. Possibilities there, no? Data science is yeah. nothing but research. Yeah. Possibilities there. So these two, I got it from social media, maybe Facebook or something. Now, yes. Amar has updated uh, his LinkedIn recently and he updated uh, his work profile. And okay. we, I observed every two years he's jumping from one company to other company, he's just switching. So right now it's almost two years. Can I recommend his profile to Dice so that uh, he'll get a profile uh, job? Yeah. And whenever he's traveling to a different location in the last uh, one and a half year, I, we observed Every time he's using a different car. Okay. That means can I sell Amar data to car company so that he'll get one car? Yeah. And based on his LinkedIn profile or Facebook profile, I understand his age is between 25 to 30. That means he may not be capable to invest full amount for a car. So can I recommend some loan company, bank loan for a car? Yes. <laughs> Clear, right? Yeah. And this, from the same profile, 
uh, I can say Facebook is completed. Ah, now whenever I observe his pictures, he is always coming with some junk food. Can I assume that his health is going to be spoiled in near future, maybe after twenty twenty five years? Maybe. Possibility is there, right? Yes. Whenever uh, when the last one and a half year data, the pictures, whatever you observe, he always hold one of the other junk food, maybe a pizza or something. Okay. That means yeah. can I recommend some insurance company for health insurance? Yes. And based on his travel history, I understand every time he's spending somewhere around ten to fifteen k per trip. So can I ask him to invest some amount on mutual funds or share shares so that after forty years also he can continue the similar kind of passion investments? Yeah. 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 And what else we can do? From the same data, I'm not talking about different data. Same Facebook, LinkedIn, car, uh, Twitter. Now I observe from Twitter, he is always updating to uh, what do you say uh, responses to different companies who is providing service, maybe a mobile network providers or internet providers. When now the, there is some issue with the providers, he is always aggressively sending a messages. Aggressively. That means okay. 15, 20 is sending. Don't you think that the person is going to be more aggressive compared to normal people? Yeah. Indirectly, the issue also is going to be impact. Yeah. yeah. So, health policy. I'm just giving shortcut names. Okay. And last one and a half year, nowhere I observed his body shape uh, is the same. On picture to picture, his body shape got increased. Can I assume that uh, he is not going to gym, so that uh, because of that, his uh, pictures, uh, the shape of uh, shape of the body is increased compared to the I mean one year before, compared to twenty twenty three. Are you getting a point? Yeah, yeah, he can. Yeah. So can I refer his profile to health instructor? Yes. So, just imagine, by taking single data, I can address different type of problems. You got my point? Yes. Uh, why yes. the data is valuable? In one, if you see in terms of tourism direction, I can address the same, I can take the same data, I can address it. If you see in terms of the matrimony, since his age is between 25 to 30, and most of the prof, uh, pictures, whatever I have seen, nowhere observed a lady next to him, so there might be a chance he's unmarried, I can refer to matrimony. Okay. Yeah. And by seeing the LinkedIn, uh, every two years he's uh, changing his profile. So now it's almost one year, eleven months since he last he changed his last job. So there is a most high probability he may change his job in the near future. So I can refer to Dice or Nokari or a monster. Okay. Yeah. And every time he's going with a different cars on the num number plate in India, it's a yellow plate. We call it as taxis or rental cars. So he's always going with a different cars. Why don't I refer him to some automobile company so they can give car lease or they'll sell a car. That means indirectly they're getting a profit. Yes. And since his body shape is not uh, the same compared to the last year, it's increased. That means the person is not uh, showing interest on in his body or health conditions. So I can refer some health insurance, life insurance and health instructor. Yes. In terms of first quality. So the same data based on the problem statement, you can uh, give different answers. Now, by considering this small example, now the company, say for example, banking, banking industry. They are coming and they're telling that, hey boss, we are selling a credit card. I want to increase the profit by 1%. Okay. So if they come with this kind of problem statement, do you think that is a, a clear cut problem statement means no? Because this is more generic. Like in my previous example, I can sell to tourists, I can sell to hospitality, I can sell to car, or so, etc. This is more generic one. I have data, and the company doesn't. Uh, company is coming to you and saying that I want to increase the profit by one percent. But what way they're expecting? They need to increase the credit cards, or increase the customers, or they need to reduce the defaulters, or they need to give a different charges to different type of people. If you reduce the default, it's indirectly or increasing the profit. 
if you are increasing the customers indirectly directly or increasing the profits so when a problem statement is coming to the co co company to a data scientist the sup supposed to be more specific hammer a uh, hey banker i understand you want to increase uh, the profit by 1% but on what way are you, are you expecting us to increase the customers so when you increase the customers your profits will increase or decrease the defaulters if you reduce the defaulters automatically your loss will come down indirectly your profits will increase okay avanti or getting yes or yes. different different taxes for different type of people okay so for example if there are very good customer loyal loyal customers i can give one type of taxes percentage of taxes if there are new customers i'll give different type of taxes if there are moderate customers i'll give different type of taxes or penalties okay. so there are different approaches to address your problem so you need to be more clear when you start working on data science so converting your business problem into a data science problem is nothing but when they are coming with some problem statement try to understand in detail convert from generic to more detailed one okay it may take some time maybe it's two days or three days or sometimes it may take one one week also but try to understand what exactly they want and what way they want to increase okay you got my point yes so this is the way you have to convert your problem statement to uh data science problem so okay. hope you understand the basic understanding why data is very important when it comes to data science world okay and and when it even now the companies open their eyes towards a data science and they know the importance of the data how they can utilize but the problem here is company can store the data but they don't know how to see the data on what way if i hope you know when you have a fever by seeing the tem uh, temperature you understand okay i have a fever but the way how doctor sees and uh, how the patient sees are totally different yes similarly when you have a lot of a huge amount of data how business will see the data is totally different to a data scientist data scientist is a purely a doctor for data so okay. if you understand the business problem and if you understand the current business flow how it starts how it ends then you are done with 50% of your problem rest of the 50% based on the research based on the existing data you can come up so first 50% is very important understanding the business problem and you need to understand which data is going to be address your business problem these two are very important okay you got my point right yes yes so let's stop for the day and tomorrow i will start the first class okay yeah yeah thank you yeah thank you thank you yeah mm -hmm. bye